It's day 25 <laughs> from the grief corner. <laughs> <laughs> Friends with us or follow us on Facebook. Um, oh, here yeah. comes Phoebe. Here's Phoebe. Uh, we just are in a different section of, of the same room. So. Yes, we're, and this probably is going to change too. So, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. But what doesn't change? Oh, you like the segue? What oh, doesn't change is the diet that? advice that you always get. Did you right? see the segue? That, that was so that good. Was masterful segue. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about calories in, calories out. And how stupid that, that is. That old chestnut. That old chestnut. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that everything is bad about calories in, calories out, because I think there, there's some, obviously, you cannot eat 10,000 calories a day and expect to not gain weight, unless you're like an Olympic swimmer or something, or an athlete. Or oh, right. Is that things. Michael Phelps? Though? Michael Phelps, yeah. And a lot of weightlifters, too, same thing. Yeah. You know, like, but we're talking like top of the game athletes. Right. Normal person. Um, you know, so obviously there's some merit to the calories in, calories out, but the problem with calories in, calories out and counting calories is that if that was the case, and let's say that you were off by a hundred calories a day, mm-hmm. which is not a lot. Yeah. You know, a hundred calories a day is a, you know, an extra scoop of potatoes or, you know, an extra whatever. Yeah. You know, one, one extra cookie. Okay. You know, something along those lines. If you're off by that much per day, uh, if above, then you should, I think it's something like gain like three pounds a year. Perpetuity. Perpetuity. How do you do that? Perpetuity. Perpetuity. Thank you. <laughs> I should be more prepared for that. Um, but in, in the other way, like you should always lose, lose weight, right? Well, it doesn't work that way. And so I think that, that people need to stop counting calories and start counting good food. I think that's what we're trying to to show yeah for sure i think i mean because um you hear like this is what i want to talk about there's all the cliches yeah like oh they're empty calories empty calories yeah. and um and that's actually true though a lot of a lot of it is is if you compare like i think several people have done this but you know it's um, I think Dr. Hyman did this one, so it's like, you know, 200 calories worth of, like, broccoli as opposed to, like, chocolate cake or something like right, that. You right. know, like, what happens with those calories in your body. So just counting calories or even doing something like Weight Watchers, which is, I think, kind of the similar idea, right? They've changed that, a little bit, but yeah. It's... I don't know if it's better now, but um, just the idea that, I just don't, I don't like that whole, like, oh, and a protein shake. I just remember those commercials from when I was a kid. Yes, yeah, protein shake for breakfast, Sen- protein shake for lunch, and a sensible, sensible dinner. A sensible dinner. Have one shake for breakfast, one shake for lunch, then eat a sensible dinner. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't sound like a good well, idea. Well, we, we even did counting calories for a little bit, and then, like, you know, so let's say that we said, okay, we, we get 1,800 calories, that, you know, if by the off chance that we were actually counting correctly, which is another problem, yeah. you know, unless you're measuring everything out to the gram, mm-hmm. it's really hard to be sure that you're 100%. Um, and so anyway, so like we would end up with like 300 calories left at the end of the day, let's say. Like, great, we could have, yeah, you know, a piece, then you give yourself, piece and a half of cherry pie, then right? Then you give yourself permission to right. eat. And that, well, that, that should work, right? Well, it doesn't work that way. So, so don't count calories. Yes. So, what do you count? I would count carbs. Okay. I would count macros. If you're going to count anything, if you need to count something, if you need to count something, Some count macros. And, and ma- ma- I am the count. They call me the count because I love to count things. I believe you don't know what macros are. Macros, your macros are protein, fat, and carbohydrates. Right. Those are your three macros, and you can decide what works best for you. Um, you know, some people work really well. I, I seem to work better on a low carb diet, low to no carb diet. Which is so funny because. You've been mad at me about that for a really long I know. time. <laughs> I'm still mad about it, but that's okay. <laughs> My new money, Luca. <laughs> I got to come up with a voice for her because <laughs> she says a lot too. No, but yeah, I I, I like believe that about you too. But, you know, you can only, it's like with anything. You have to get to a certain point where you just are done with right. all the 
BS. And, and it was really funny today, kind of a funny story. Our dog ran away, um, as she loves to do. She, she has be. severe wanderlust. <laughs> she loves to run. And the front door, there she is. She knows what I'm talking about. The front door popped open, and she ran out. She ran out twice, actually, since children weren't closing the door properly. And, um, come here, baby. Come here, baby. And I thought she'd come to me. She's going to start barking. Um, and we both ran after her. And two months ago, this happened, and you were like, wow, I could actually do that today. Yeah, yeah, I actually, you know, I mean, well, I was still out of breath, but I, I was not, like, going to keel over like I was yeah. two months ago. So yeah, I just, to be just that little bit of, of, you know, exercise every day and movement every day and good food has changed a lot. I guess that the real thing here is to, you know, do what, we've, like we've been saying today, one, do what works for you. Um, but I will tell you right now that counting calories and severe calorie restriction is not healthy. I it's not going to be the way to go. I wouldn't think that that would be the way to go. I mean, everybody's so different, but, you know, I just don't think that that's a good one. And, you know, I wouldn't do it. But you should do whatever you want. But I don't, I just think that's one of those things that doesn't work. Okay. And we're going to go because our dog is getting into something that she shouldn't be. So we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>